home, you will access the internet, you will watch before the flood. Promise me? True. Okay. Talks. <laughs> you also. <laughs> Promise? Uh, I saw before the flood, uh, the date was launched on the internet. Uh, it was made accessible to the world by Leonardo DiCaprio and National Geographic, which is, I think, amazing. Uh, and I remember thinking to myself, I want every Indian to watch this film. Because, of course, it tells you very simply what climate change is all about and how it impacts the lives of people especially the poorest of the poor people. But more than that, I think it empowers you with the ability to ask yourself one question. Uh, before you consume anything, before you use anything, whether it's something you're drinking or you're eating or you're wearing or you're using, where is it coming from? Who made it? And where is it going to go? How does this impact the environment? And I think that that one question can really change the game. Uh, it has for me. I think my ability to just just change my life. Because when you think about climate change, it's a very daunting uh, problem. And civil society, citizens like you and me wonder, what can we do? You know, CFL bulb laga diya, but is that enough? Uh, hybrid cars are jayenge, but will that be enough? And we know that the answers are no, but every action counts. But the biggest actions are talking about it, conveying the message, and uh, seeing what you can do in your everyday life to bring about that change. Ma'am, do you think uh, it's a high time that the public should know the awareness about the pollution? Absolutely. I keep talking about it. I keep posting on Twitter. I keep saying, why aren't the young people in this country, the youth of this country, going out on the streets and protesting the air pollution. Uh, our, uh, 14 of our cities have been uh, in the red. We've had escalated pollution levels. We're not doing anything about it. Delhi's among world first. Delhi, Mumbai, uh, there are many, Patna, there are many cities in the country that are very highly polluted, dangerously polluted. It's killing our elderly people. It's harming our children irreparably. You know, when children are exposed to that quality of air, their lungs get damaged for life. Uh, and this is a serious problem, and we don't seem to do anything about it. So we need to ask ourselves why. Any advice, ma'am, you'd like to give to the public? Get involved. Ask questions. Get involved. Ma'am, is it true you are doing a biopic of a manager? Yes, but I'm not allowed to talk about that today. Ma'am, thank you. But thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Ma'am, ma'am. How was it? Uh, it was actually quite scary, uh, but it's fascinating and it's interesting to see how he's created this whole documentary about the about climate change. And I and I think uh, we should all definitely become a part of making people more aware about it and doing something about it. It's just frightening. And any advice you'd like to give to the audience? I don't want to give climate. I don't want to give advice to anybody else, but I know what I'm going to be doing to make to put my little contribution into it is you have to change your lifestyle. You have to. We don't have a choice anymore. Big Boss is coming in the last week. All I know is Swami Om is not winning. That I know for sure. He is evicted also. Achha, he's evicted also. Very good. That's excellent. Three finalists. One, two, one, three, and perform. Who is going to win? According to you. The three finalists are who? They've decided already. Ah, yeah. That means Bani is not in the running anymore. Manu, Manveer and Lopa. Well, according to me, uh, if Big Boss is playing it smart and uh, they for the first time had a common man 
join and then to make the common man happy, they'll make the common man win. So maybe Manu. Any upcoming movies you'd like to live in? No, nothing right now. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ma'am, how was it? It was amazing, very, very impactful. I think uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Scorsese and the whole team have done an amazing job. It makes you feel like com coming out and doing something to help save the planet. Uh, I think what's amazing is the, sh the film also showed, apart from showing all the dire situation that the planet is in, it also showed a lot of hope of things that can be done to uh, reverse climate change and to actually make it better. So I hope that, you know, Everyone does their bit and I think uh, I'm going to try and start using you know, natural uh, resources as much as possible and not things that burn fossil fuels and I think it was extremely educative and really impactful. Ma'am, do you think that people should get aware of uh, the nowadays are going on, the awareness about the environment? environment. Yes, environment. I think awareness, awareness is the first step and then of course action. So I think uh, films like this really help build awareness and hopefully action. Any advice to uh, our audience? Uh, I would say that, you know, watch the film because it really teaches you a lot and it also shows us how we can all help in our own little way and hopefully collective action hopefully can make a difference. Yeah, the season 5 of the Tara Sharma show will hopefully be back on Star World in June, touch wood, so I hope you enjoy it. And I've started a new online series on my YouTube channel called Try It With Tara, all about fun, active sports things to do with kids and on you know as a mom so do watch all that thank okay. you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.